cricket and today I just wanted to let you know that it's uh, it's going on my sixth month of being on the road and living in my van and I'm loving it I encourage everybody to uh, if you're thinking about it look at it hard because it's a lot of fun it's interesting and I think you'll get more out of life with it anyway let me tell you how my day started after going with that scenario I woke up early because I was um, I had had a couple days off just lingering around and cleaning up the van and washing her inside and out and so I was ready to get on the road and I was in Lynn Massachusetts and got up early the uh, Walmart there I was staying at a Walmart um, they were not open yet so I just decided to go on the road well, I get to the Boston area and there's turnpikes where you have to pay a toll. <laughs> Guess who didn't have any change? Didn't have any money on me at all. Had completely forgot to stop and get some change, you know, and um, some money. So, they issued me, it's called a no cash violation. It's not a ticket and they send you um, some kind of notification at your home address from your driver's license and I guess how much you owe for the violation and I've looked all on here to see if there's any way I could pay online or go somewhere no not a, not anything you can't do it they get you so that wasn't very that wasn't a very happy moment <laughs> Because I went through it and then I saw that it was coming up again. I'm like, oh, let me get off the road. And, you know, I saw a, an exit. Uh, let me go and go get some cash. I don't want you know, this to happen again. It was a toll place. So, I got to. Anyway, I um, then had to go, because I went off that exit, I had to go downtown in Boston. And I don't know if any of y'all have ever been there. It is extremely wild. It's it's beautiful. The brown houses are nice. Um, the scenery. It was it was interesting. I <laughs> I uh, was if I hadn't have been so stressed out at the moment and with the traffic like it was. The traffic was crazy. And I mean this is early early in the morning. You know like 6:30 in the morning. And I would have thought maybe I would have gotten a little leeway. No way. It was bumper to bumper, and then it was crazy downtown, and then I had to get maneuver and get out of downtown. So I was ah, stress level high. So I'm like, you know, it's a small thing. There are times that you're going to have mishaps and problems, and you've just got to roll with them because the the good far outweighs the bad and you've got you know when something bad happens it just really makes you appreciate the beauty and the good that you are given so I have to look at it like that but it was a rough start so I get through Boston and um, I think well let me get to Rhode Island so I put my GPS on a spot for Rhode Island, which was another Walmart. I thought, well, I'll just go there, just kind of maintain a little bit, get some supplies now that, you know, it, it's, it will be open and, um, you know, just regroup. This, <laughs> this, well, the Walmart was permanently, it's, it's gone, it's closed. So there was no Walmart <laughs> open. <laughs> then I thought, okay, let me get some lunch. Let me just get something to eat and I'll be okay so I thought I'll get some Kentucky Fried Chicken and the GPS took me to where it was supposed to be again closed gone so I was like oh my gosh let me just get on the road so I get on the road and I am heading to Connecticut and whoo a Popeye sign exit da 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 and I'm like I love Popeyes too that will cheer me up and so <laughs> that's what we've done we filled up on some gas and we have gotten some Popeyes fried chicken Popeyes oh you can't see the bag very good there we go 
like you haven't ever seen a Popeye's bag before. Well, here it is, if you have it. Popeye's chicken. Louisiana. It's so good, kitchen. Are you ready for some chicken? Huh? Yeah? Yes. I think you are. You're jumping around. All right, and where did Roxy go? Oh, Roxy's down there. Are you ready for some chicken, too? Are you going to have some chicken with Mommy? Yeah? Okay. All right, everybody. Beach Cricket out. I think things are going to be okay. <laughs> they always are. But, you know, count your blessings because things happen. And always make sure that you have change or money or something on you. Always make sure. And, you know, I travel so much that I usually always do. It's just that I had forgotten that I had bought some things and, um, you know, deplenished my funds in my wallet. So I had to stop and get some more today. <laughs> and so that's what I've done. Anyway, do that so that you don't get one of these... no cash violations all right anyway beach cricket out have a good one everybody bye bye